Hi guys, welcome back to Golden Reviewer. This is an iPhone 13 Pro Max. And as soon as I got it, I ran some benchmark on this device. It was amazing, but uh, for some reason, the, the thermal restrictions on this device is just way too strict. So I figured maybe the best way to unleash its full performance is to put it in some icy water. I think this way will be perfectly cooling the device down. And then we run some benchmarks to see what the A15 is capable of. Of course, I have to give a disclaimer. This is purely for science and you shouldn't try this at home. If your iPhone is damaged due to water ingression, I think it's not covered under warranty. So do not try this at home. Okay, now we have measured to confirm that the temperature is pretty low. I think we are good to go. Let's proceed to the benchmarks. Okay, so the first benchmark we are doing is Geekbench 5. This is a pure CPU test. And let's see how fast are the A15 CPUs with proper cooling. Alright, now we finished Geekbench 5. And as you can see, we got some crazy high scores. For single core, not much different, but for multi core, we got over 5,000. And I think this is the first ever smartphone to be able to achieve this. And of course, I'll also put the normal room temperature benchmark scores on the left so you can have a comparison. Uh, okay, let, let me just switch to a larger container real quick. And uh, next, we are going to test N22 benchmark. Okay, now we finished the N22 benchmark. We got 842,000 versus 828,000 in normal air temperature. So that's some 14,000 increase. Not too significant in my opinion. Okay, let's just check the device temperature real quick. Uh, it's around 10 degrees C, which is okay. And let's move on to our next test, which will be GFX bench. And I'll actually run all the off-screen benchmarks in Git GFX Bench. All right, we finished the GFX Bench, and when we compare the results to that of uh, uh, in ambient air, it is actually not that much different. So my guess is that the iPhone has uh, another restriction on sustained power rather than temperature. So even if your device is cool enough. Uh, they still don't allow you to run at a certain high power for a prolonged period of time. Anyway, let's move on to our last test, which will be 3D Mark stress test. And this might be the most interesting one because it is a stress test, right? And it's supposed to perform really, really well when we put it in ice water. Finally, let's check the result from 3D Mark stress test. Well, it wasn't able to run at 100% performance all the time. I think this might be due to the power restriction that I mentioned earlier, because the device is indeed super cold. But anyway, we achieve an 83% of stability versus 65% in air, which is still a quite healthy improvement. All right, guys, so that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to click subscribe and like. And thanks for watching. See you next time.